Hi Church, today we're going to be reading from Romans chapter 1 verses 16, 17 verses that sometimes we add in our testimony. Sometimes we hear these verses when somebody is talking about the good news. And these two verses are excellent, uh, an excellent reminder that the reason why we share uh, the good news of Christ Jesus with people is because it brings hope, but it also because God's righteousness is revealed in the process. So the verses read, For I am not ashamed of the gospel, because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes, first to the Jews, then to the Gentile. For in the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed, a righteousness that is by faith from first to last, just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. There's quite a few phrases that uh, uh, stood out to me from these two verses. The first one is, for I am not ashamed of the gospel. I remember growing up, my grandma and my mom reminding me in Spanish of this phrase, and they will always say, no te avergüences del evangelio, no te avergüences de Dios, meaning do not be ashamed of, you know, going and evangelize do not be ashamed of god in sharing the good news and it's, it is so important because when we keep that in mind it is it is a great way for us to feel brave to go and share the good news with those that need it the most by the way right now i think it is a great time for us to continue sharing our testimony in the good news with people we're living in uncertain times, and it may be sometimes difficult to comprehend that God is in control and why God is doing what he's doing in the world or why things happening in the way that are happening in the world. But this is when our faith comes uh, in place. This is when we are reminded that Christ Jesus has a plan and also that we live by faith, that it doesn't matter the circumstances around in the world. What matters is that we have God with us. And because we have that hope and, and, and that understanding, it is important that we go and share the good news with anyone anyone we don't pick who we share it with it says right here from the jews to the gentiles everybody is welcome to hear the good news of the gospel and what i'm trying to to say today is my goal is that we can just ask god to help us to be brave and share our testimony and the good news more often with people around and if we have the intentions, but we don't have the opportunities, maybe now we have to start asking God to open doors for us to share the good news with others. Because once again, God's righteousness is revealed in the process. Dear church, remember that when we share the good news of God, God reveals uh, through us and we give the glory to our Lord and Savior. And I hope that this week we can find one of at least one opportunity where we can go and be brave and, and share with others what God is doing in our lives. Amen.